As I currently am aware of, this will be the only video online that shows how to do exactly this without the need for any third-party services or any middleman service. There's other videos about this online, but they all tell you that you need to use a third-party web server service that basically you send the alert from TradingView to their middleman web server, and then the web server takes care of the fancy stuff, and then it sends it over to your Telegram. I'm here to tell you that you do not need any of that, and you can do it all yourself from TradingView right to Telegram with just a couple of lines of text. And I'm going to give you everything you need here in this video. All I ask is that if you enjoyed this content, if you want to support my content and you want to help me make better videos and more videos like this to support the content using some of the links down below in the description, check out TradingView because they're doing a Black Friday special. If you use TradingView, which is the world's most popular charting platform, then it's really a no brainer. You can just click on that link and add months to your TradingView plan. And that's an easy way to support this video. Okay. If you're looking for a stock broker, I recommend Interactive Brokers. They're one of the best brokers to trade U.S. stocks if you live outside of the USA. Thank you. Let's get on with it right now. So TradingView has the capability to send you email alerts as well as push notifications on your mobile device. So the question becomes, why in the world would you want to involve Telegram? Well, there's a few benefits of using Telegram. I'm going to outline to you a few of them. The first one is that emails are very annoying. And if you want to stay more organized with your alerts, it's nice to have another place, a separate inbox where you can keep track of all the alerts that you're getting. Telegram can offer you this. The next thing about Telegram is that you can customize the alerts and the notification settings on a per chat basis. This is a really high tech feature and you can also change the alert sound on a per chat basis. You can upload custom alert sounds. Now I think that TradingView is fine to alert yourself if you're next to your system. However, if you are not next to your system and you're relying on your mobile device to be alerted, this can be a bit of a problem because your mobile device is limited to the sounds that it has on board. Now what Telegram has is the ability to set custom alert sounds. For example, you can record an audio track of yourself saying something in order to wake yourself up, you know, wake up, bro, you're making a lot of money right now, or wake up, bro, you're about to be stopped out of a trade and doesn't matter, just go back to bed. You can set these custom audio tracks as the notification sound for your Telegram bot or Telegram group that the bot is sending the alerts to. So when you have a price alert that takes place on TradingView, you can send it directly to a Telegram group via a bot, and that will be a way to notify multiple people of a specific alert taking place. I'm going to show you how to do all of that in this video. So let's follow the guide. So we're going to be using the webhook feature on TradingView, and I'm going to tell you about that. So TradingView has a webhook feature which allows the user to tell TradingView to send a HTTP post request to the desired URL. TradingView allows the user to provide a JSON object in the body of the request, which is exactly what the Telegram bot API requires. How to do this. The first thing that you absolutely need for this to work is that you need a TradingView account and you need to pay for one of their basic TradingView plans. The reason for this, it's necessary because in order to use the webhooks feature on TradingView, they require you to have two-factor authentication enabled on your TradingView account. So you need to log into TradingView, pay for a basic plan using the link down below and it's Black Friday so it's going to be probably less expensive than the price I told you there. And then you need to enable two-factor authentication on your TradingView account. And that's done when you go up to account settings on TradingView at the top left. You go to your account and billing and you'll be able to configure the two-factor authentication there. You need to enable that, okay? And the next thing that you need is that if you plan to send alerts on specific symbols on TradingView that require market data, you're going to need the market data for those symbols. So there's different ways that you can get market data. You can buy market data directly from TradingView. So for example, on this symbol right here, ES, which is the S&P 500 futures, you can see on my watch list, there is a D symbol, meaning that I'm getting delayed quotes because I don't have live market data for this symbol on TradingView. So if you see that, it means that you have delayed data. The reason why this is a problem for sending alerts is because your alerts are not going to be triggered with the actual real time prices, which is just going to cause problems. And the other thing is, is that when you're passing in some of the objects that TradingView provides, um, in order to pass in the last price and the current time of the alert, they might not be accurate if you're using a delayed symbol. By the way, if you guys stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to show you something I built in Sierra Chart, which is my primary trading platform, which is an open source study built in C++ 
to do exactly what I'm telling you here in TradingView, except it's from Sierra Chart to Telegram, and I believe it's even better than what I'm showing you here. The next thing is once you enable two-factor authentication, you need to refresh the chart page. So I'll click refresh on the chart page. The next thing is, is that you will need a bot on Telegram because this method uses the Telegram bot API. So the way you create a bot on Telegram is you have to go to Telegram first, and then you have to talk to bot father. So you go on Telegram and you search for at bot father, and you know it's this one because it has a unique username, which is bot father, and it has a verified check mark next to it. So you click on that. Now let's talk to bot father and create a new bot. Okay, so I'll click on start at the bottom here. And now Botfather gives you a whole bunch of different options. So I'll just do new bot. So I clicked on new bot and it's saying, what are we going to call it? Please choose a name for your bot. So I will name this bot TradingView Telegram Video. Now you need to give it an actual username. The usernames for bots on Telegram have to end with the word bot. So I will just name it um, VT underscore uh, TradingView video bot, okay? Because this is just for a video example. And then what you get is the API token. This API token is the most important thing here. Now, when you create a bot on Telegram, this API token should remain private because if someone else gains access to your API bot token, they can essentially control your bot. So let's say you're some kind of an entity or an organization that uses a specific Telegram bot to notify their users, if you leak your bot token, it means that anybody on the internet can take control of your Telegram bot and then potentially mislead your users. So you don't want that. And again, it, it depends on what you're using the bot to do. If you're using the bot to receive payments or do something like that, then it's going to be really bad if you leak the bot token. But if you're just using it to send some basic alerts, it's not going to be as bad if your bot token gets leaked, but it's still recommended that these things have to remain private. So this bot token is necessary for sending the request on TradingView. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Now, get more coffee if you need some. I've clicked on the bot token to copy it to the clipboard because this is a mono space text formatting. And what I will do now is go to TradingView and I'm going to create an alert. There's different ways to create alerts on TradingView. You can click near the value scale of the chart on that plus icon and then click on add alert. That will automatically create a price alert. Or if you want to customize the alert from the start, what you can do is click on the alert button to bring you to the alerts menu here on TradingView. And then from here, you can click on the plus to create a new alert. So I'll click on create alert here. I'll start by changing the price of the alert to 1.37 because I want to show you the alert showing up on the chart before we do anything. Then I will go to the notifications tab. This is where we will need to enable the webhook URL feature. Now I've disabled email notifications as well because we're going to be getting them on Telegram. So there's no need to use emails. This is the URL you need to send to. It's going to be exactly this. So the first thing is the Telegram bot API URL, which is this one right here, api.telegram.org. Copy it exactly as it is displayed here. And then you have to type in the word bot. So B O T and then you paste in your bot token that you got from bot father. So it should look exactly like this right here. And then at the very end of the URL, you need to pass in which telegram method we're going to be using. For this example, I will be using send message. However, I will show you another example that uses send photo. So I'll type in send capital M message. It has to be this exact spelling and this exact formatting of the method because that's exactly what the method is called for the Telegram bot API. Okay, let's go to the next tab. So my URL is now set. The next tab over here, we can give the alert a name, we can give it the proper condition, but really what's important is the message field here. The message field will allow us to provide a JSON body. Here is an example of a simple message using a couple of trading view objects to pass in the exchange, the ticker symbol of the chart, as well as the last price of our symbol. So what I will do is copy this to the clipboard and you can do this as well because this text file will be available to you on my GitHub repository. And I will get rid of the text that's in the message field and I will just paste in this JSON object. Now, one thing that you need to know is that you need to provide in a valid chat ID here. So this is the next step, how to get a Telegram chat ID. So one way that I do to get the chat ID is I use the Telegram web platform. So this chat ID here is not a valid one. We need to go get the correct chat ID. So you need to log in on Telegram web and you need to ensure that you're on version A. You can see if you're on version A, 
on the address bar at the top. Now, the way you change the version on Telegram is by clicking on the top left open menu. And then over here where we have switch to K version or switch to A version. You need to be on version A to get the chat ID properly. Okay, to get your personal chat ID on Telegram, you go up to the top left and click on saved messages. And then at the top, your chat ID will appear at the end of the address bar. It should be a positive number and it's about eight to 10 characters long. Right now, what I'm going to do is create a private group and then I'm gonna use that group and send the trading view alerts to the group. Okay, so on Telegram web, I'll go at the bottom and I will click on new group. I'm not going to add any users to the group and I will just give the group a name. I will name it trading view testing alerts. So I have created the group here. The next thing is you need to add the bot that we created with Botfather to this group. So I need to start by having a chat with our bot. So I'll click on Botfather because he's gonna tell me the Telegram URL of the bot. So I'll click over here. That's the URL of the bot I just created. And um, what I will do is start a conversation. I started a private chat with the bot. What this means is that I could also have the bot personal message me in a private chat on Telegram, but we're not gonna do that for this video. I'm gonna add the bot to the group. Now, I don't think it's actually possible to add a bot to a group on Telegram web. So you'll need to do this on your mobile device or on Telegram desktop if you have it. So I'm gonna go over to Telegram desktop. I'm going to click on the bot, Trading View Telegram video. And at the bottom here, you see there's an item for add to group. This item is not available on Telegram web. So I'll click on that item and then I will select Trading View Testing Alerts. So now when I view the Trading View Testing Alerts group I created, you can see there's our bot. We've added it to the group. Okay, so now we need to get the chat ID of this group. So I'm clicked on the chat here on Telegram web, trading view testing alerts. At the very top of the address bar, you can see there is the chat ID for the group. So chat IDs for groups, as well as subtopics for groups, they normally start with a negative number. So you need to input that negative number the same exact way onto the alert in trading view. So I'll copy this to the clipboard. Now I'm going to go back to trading view and paste it into the chat ID. It needs to be inside the quotation marks. Okay. So negative. So there's our negative number. I don't need to change anything regarding the text because I've already pre-formatted this and it uses a parse mode known as markdown to get a little bit of bold text and mono space text for the price. Okay. So let's go ahead and create this. Now, if you click on create, and it gives you an error, it means that there was an error formatted in the JSON object. The good thing is, is that if you copy exactly from my text file, you should not have any errors because I've tested them beforehand, something that a lot of people don't do these days. Okay, so there's our alert on our screen. Now when I hover over the alert on TradingView, you can see that we see the information of the alert. We see the body, including the chat ID. So this is not great if you're a streamer and you're sending alerts to your private Telegram chat, you might not want to disclose your private chat ID. So I'm just letting you know. That's why I'm using a group here that I'm gonna eventually delete because I don't care about sharing that number. So the next thing is I will just drag this alert down to get it triggered on the chart. So I'm gonna drag it down, let's see what happens. I switched over to a one minute chart. I'm still waiting for the alert to trigger. Okay, my alert has been triggered and you can see we're receiving some notifications there. So I see the notification on TradingView itself. So now when I go over to the Telegram chat, you can see there's our alert, the bot sent us the alert. Okay. Now the date time formatting on trading view looks a little weird. That's not in our control, unfortunately, but uh, that's the way it's displayed. So you can see there's our first example of an alert sent from trading view, the telegram, no need for any third party code. Okay. So let's go on and continue and I'll show you a couple other examples. So I tried to develop a method of sharing a screenshot along with the telegram alert. And this is not currently supported in TradingView. And the reason why it is not currently supported because TradingView does not have a functionality that dynamically takes a real-time screenshot of the chart whenever an alert is triggered. However, on TradingView, you can take a screenshot of the chart. If you go up to the top right and click on take a snapshot, you can actually get a link to a real-time screenshot of this chart. I included in the text file a way that they could potentially do that basically would involve having some sort of a dynamic URL that's assigned to each user. And every time a chart alert is triggered, it automatically updates that URL to the image of the chart. So when you click on copy link on the chart snapshot feature, and then you put that link into your address bar, you can see there is our screenshot of the chart in real time. 
So the problem is it doesn't allow you to get this real-time screenshot when an alert is triggered. That's what would need to be developed on TradingView's side. Now, just as a quick example, I'm gonna show you my study functionality in Sierra chart. And by the way, the code for this study is going to be open source and available for anybody to view. Um, so it's this study in Sierra chart called Telegram Chart Drawing Alerts. And basically the way it works is you provide in the chat ID um, and there's a path to the chart image folder. And what it does is it has the functionality to take a screenshot of whichever chart originated the alert. So you could have hundreds of different charts open at the same time and it's going to take a screenshot of the one chart that generated the alert. So let me show you how that's done right now. So I'll put a, a chart drawing and then I will right click and click on alerts and I will just create a simple alert here. Give it an alert sound. And I, I think the chat ID is already configured properly. So let's wait for that to trigger. I put the line there. Okay, there we go. So the alert was triggered. Let's go over to Telegram and it's in this other chat right here. And you can see it provides us a real-time screenshot of that particular chart in that current moment. And like I said, this can also be possible on TradingView, except that they would need to develop a way to dynamically create a chart screenshot whenever a chart alert is triggered. So there is another way that you can pass in your chart image in real time on TradingView. This is a workaround. You will not get a chart screenshot on Telegram, but what this method does is it passes in the link to your TradingView chart in the message body that you'll get on Telegram, and you'll be able to click on the link and see what the chart is doing. So this is kind of a workaround to the method I just described to you not being available on TradingView. So I will copy this message body right here to the clipboard. Now on TradingView, I'm gonna reuse the old alert by going to the alerts tab on TradingView and right clicking on the alert that was triggered. What I've done is I've pasted in the new text body there. I also need to paste in the chat ID. I got the chat ID there. And the last thing you need to do in order for this to work is that since you're sharing a link to your chart, you're gonna to have to enable chart sharing on TradingView, which is a feature that allows anybody to see your chart if you give them the link. They won't be able to modify it. It's just read only sharing. So you enable this feature on TradingView. When you go up to the top right, click on this little up arrow here and then enable chart sharing mode. It's basically the link that appears on your address bar. You copy that link to the clipboard and actually my alert was already triggered here, but the URL I put in was not the correct URL. So what I'll do is I'll create another alert and I'll just pass in the correct URL to the chart and everything should be okay. Waiting for the alert to trigger. So there it goes, our alert was now triggered. I'll go over to Telegram and you can see there's our newest alert that came through. There's our price and there's our link to the chart. I can click on the link to the chart. It'll open a browser and we can see that there is our trading view chart of what's currently going on. I also included in the text file an example of using the send photo method um, where you can actually, it actually works to pass in a URL of a photo. So. If you used the uh, take snapshot feature on TradingView, get the link to your photo, then you can try and use this JSON object right here, passing the link to your photo. But the only thing you need to remember is at the end of your webhook URL, you need to change it from send message to send photo because you're using a different method of the Telegram bot API. And uh, essentially you will attach a screenshot to your message, just like I showed you earlier, the way it does it in Sierra chart. So it works in TradingView too. You can pass in a URL of an image. Yeah, so let me know what you guys thought of this method. Check out this video right here where I showed how to trade futures on TradingView using their bracket management. Very nice features. I wish you all the best and good Black Friday. Thank you, take care.